G'day. In today's video, I've got a HP Elite book. This one's relatively new. It's liquid damaged, so I'm gonna open it up and just have a quick look inside to see A, if there's any damage, and B, what can be upgraded. So this particular one is a HP Elite book, 850 G7. So to get in there, it looks to be relatively straightforward. All we really need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a pry tool. So if we take the screws out, or at least loosen them. They do seem to be remaining attached to the bottom half of the machine. And there very well may be extra screws hidden under here and under here. To begin with, I will just give it a little pry and see where we get. Lift up and out, and bingo, we're now inside this machine. And you can already tell I'm not going to be able to revive this machine. So first of all, I'll point out what I'm seeing, which if we look over here, we'll see that we can see different signs on the board here of damage. This one did have a, apparently coffee spilt on it, which we also look at the bottom cover. Maybe give us some extra signs of what's going on. So we're looking here. So there's a cut out of the M.2, and here's liquid here. So no good. So let's see, let's say you bought a HP Pro Book, uh, or oh, Elite Book, not Pro Book, my mistake. The 850 G7. Yes, the G7. Let's see. Let's say we wanted to add or upgrade the RAM. We'll disconnect the battery. So we'll disconnect the battery like that. And the first question is, where is the RAM? I'm going to assume under here. There's a little pull tab that looks to be here. There we go. Lift. And lift, and ta-da. You see two RAM slots right here. And if I flick these bits out here and here, we should be able to take that RAM out, like so. Let's lift it up. And we find that we have eight gig of PC4 running at 2666. So if you wanted to, you'd be able to upgrade your RAM to two sticks, which would then enable dual channel performance. As long as they're matching size and typically matching speed, that should be achievable. Now I'm gonna put the RAM back in, slide in, and fold down. So we'll go in on a 45 degree angle. The copper bits will get covered up, and then you should just be able to push down, or copper slash gold. You should be able to kind of sprint like that. The cutout should be here and here. Now that's reinstalled. If we go across to here, we've got a CCO3XL battery, which if we look down the other end, mentions that it's a 4,610 milliamp battery. So that is an easily replaceable battery. You'll be able to find it just by this model number here. Next up, storage. If we undo this screw here, it should be very much like the RAM. Take that out, wiggle it out up the top here, and we're out. And now this is by a brand I can't say I've really heard of before. I can't actually even pronounce that one, so I'm not even going to attempt. K-I-O-X-I-A Corporation. This one's a 256 gig NVMe. Look in the back, we also have a few more details. Sorry, I'll get you guys in focus there. There you go. So I'm going to leave that out as I will be getting the data off that, but if we were to reinstall it, put it back in at a 45 degree angle, fold down, put the Phillips screw back in. If you're upgrading to a fresh drive, you'd either have to clone it or you would have to do a fresh reinstall of Windows using the Windows 10 or 11 media creation tool. So I'm going to leave that out. Next up, what else? 
let's say you damaged the charger port on it, it would be replaceable over here. So this comes out, folds up, single screw here. So you will be able to replace the DC jack quite easily. Yeah, we go across the board. We have the temp gen i5 processor here under a copper cooler. And to go over a bit more, we can upgrade the wireless card here. That'd be take off both these connectors and same as the NVMe SSD. One screw lift up and out. Yeah, this one at the moment has Intel model AX201 NGW. There you guys go. So that one is also upgradable or replaceable. Typically it'll go Wi-Fi 6. Then once we're done, I'll put the RAM cover back on for now. If you have a look at the RAM here, you will see that there's small little metal brackets or clamps. Here, 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 and along the outer perimeter. If you line just a couple of them up, so I'll line these two up in the corner here, and line up the opposite corner, just be able to push down, and they should clip into position. There we go. So that's the RAM cover reinstalled. And then once you've successfully got everything back together, you want to re installed and upgraded. Put your battery back in, reconnect it up, and then from there, we'll just simply put the back cover on once more. Yeah, the, the cover looks to have a little kind of lip on it here, so push it down to the front, let it clip in first, and then work your way to the back. Push it down, do up your five screws, and that should have successfully got into and upgraded and then sealed back up your HP Elite Book 850 G7. Hope this helps and I'll see you guys later. Bye.